There he is. <laughs> that was really good, Dave. I was really, it was really well done. You really um, you read that script they sent through, and it was, it was great. Before I started, I was like, I told myself, like, you, there's no world in which you need to look at that script within the first five seconds of this video. Mm -hmm. And I still do. I still do. That. Well, it's quite scary when you start one of these videos because no one's here. And, um, you know, and you feel a bit like you've got to wait. But then also, if you wait, then everyone's going to leave us so quickly and then we'll just be alone. And then it's just me and you video chatting, which is so weird because all we do all day at the moment is exactly this. And the thought of talking to you in a way where I have something new to say or seem, you know, engaged at the moment is just, it, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine. Well, yeah, I felt that way for about 10 years with, with you, so. <laughs> okay. Well, it's doubly true at the moment. Nah, that hurts. What do you got? It's I okay be, because yeah. Yeah. Why else? It feels so weird for me to see someone drinking because it's 11 a.m. here. You're in New Zealand, in New Zealand with your baby and your baby mama. Should we check in on where we are? Yes. Oh, I mean, oh. that's it. I'm in New Zealand. It's 11 a.m. I'm living in New Zealand with my partner. His baby that. mama. My baby mama. Yeah. Yeah. My partner, who is also the mother of my child, not another person. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, <laughs> you say partner, it sounds like there's something happened. It sounds like Nothing. you're a gay man. A gay man? Yeah, it's, I was someone that says partner, I think, oh, you're one of us. I don't think they're heterosexual. But you know, yeah. I'm very quick to pick it, take anyone on, on some, onto the gay team. I'll just like, uh, any whisper of any homosexuality and I'm like, uh, well, you're ours. And then some, you know, cause I just, I just want to push the gay agenda. I want to expand. I want to bring people into being gay, you know? Of course. Oh, I wish I could. I'm a, monogamous, I'm a monogamous heterosexual man in 2020. With a baby. That's why I have to wear these jumpers just to give me something. Just to let with people baby, know. With a baby. Yeah. In Auckland. It's crazy, you know, because you have known each other for 20 years. And it's, um, it's weird that, that they let you have a baby to me. You know? But I guess in that 20 <laughs> years, I guess in that 20 years, you did grow and change and mature. So that you, so maybe now you having a baby is, is fine. But to me, I sort of still... I still don't see you as someone that could even make a baby. Don't let anyone, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. They just say, I mean, not in China, obviously, they've got, they can control things, but... Um, <laughs> Sorry? I'm saying they'll let anyone, but, you know, some places they don't let you if there's, you know, more than a number of them. That's a fact. There's nothing controversial about that. Cool. I'm saying I shouldn't, I shouldn't take, you know, I gotta check my privilege when it comes to being allowed to do What this. about how I look like such a little artist? Lovely. It's such, so slimming. Not that like, there's any, you know. I feel not fat, that man. You know I'm the fattest I've ever been in my life. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I hadn't noticed, but you keep saying it. But then you keep texting me about the fried chicken sandwiches you're eating, so. I love I fried chicken sandwiches, okay. and and I like eating them, and that's what I want to do. And there's not that much other joy, actually. There's not, not, not that many other treats. I mean, Bilby's good. Look at her back there. That's good, but I need more. I need a little. It's the, the turtleneck is. It's actually not a turtleneck. It's a half. The person who's going to roll this up, it doesn't go up. So actually, a mock neck? you embarrass yourself. Is it a mock neck? Is that it's a mock call? neck. Yeah, we call that a mock neck. Yeah, I've never worn this shirt before. The thing is, um, I'm so deep in my wardrobe because there's no dry cleaning, you know? And that <laughs> is a pretentious thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't wash it. So I'm just 
And now this, 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 there was like a, a week last year where I thought this is the boy I was going to be, you know? Like I thought, oh, I'm going to go into my 30s. I'm going to be this boy that wears these kind of shirts in black. And yeah. then, and then a week later, I realized that that's obviously never, that's not who I'm going to be. Because of the... Wait. That's just a bit annoying, isn't it? I look like a, I look like a douchebag. No? Oh, well, I don't know. I think it's nice. I can imagine it tucked in with a lovely patent leather belt. Thank you. Um, what's our, uh, you know, the gamers question? Should we do them? Well, yeah, we've got this conversation guide. Um, I feel like we might be going back in time if we start it now. We've done pretty well ourselves. I uh, think we don't need it. Okay. How are you doing? <laughs> really well. Do you know what I was thinking about just as I was in the bathroom? I was remembering when me and you used to do our podcast when we were 19, 13 years ago, and people didn't podcast then. It was very, it was yeah. very underground, you know? Yeah, we, and, um, we were the number two, we were the number one podcast for a little, for like a week. Yeah, just or chatting. And once I went on a date with a girl and then came home and I gave you the play by play of the date. And um, and put it on the internet. And sometimes I think about that, and I think that's unethical. <laughs> Everything we said was like that. Like every family member just trashed every sexual experience, just explored. But also, it was it was amazing. Like you came out on the podcast. Did I? Oh, that's right. I came yeah. out by a podcast. Yeah. That person said I loved your podcast. Oh my god, they've been here all these years. They come out. I would like to do a, I would like to do a podcast where me and you listen back to the podcast. <laughs> but I don't think we have the recordings. They're on a hard drive somewhere, remember... aren't they? No. Oh no, they 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 might be on a cloud somewhere. Some, it would all... be so good when, if we did a podcast where we listened back to the podcast we made before I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember you called me up one day after we'd recorded and you were like, you gotta, you gotta delete that bit where I was talking about the war. You gotta delete the bit where I was giving my opinions on the Afghanistan war. And I said, no, it's good. It's funny. And you're like, no, it's got to go. And you were right. You had good instincts. No one wants to hear my, no one wants to hear my opinions on the Afghanistan war. Do you know what I mean? That's not what I'm here for. Uh, uh, how are you? Sorry, rude of me. I didn't ask the question back. Fine. Fine. It's fine. I'm fine. It's just the same. I have a child, so mm -hmm. it's a different thing. Like you're in, you're in lockdown. They don't know that. It's the same. I'm sorry, I'm Where just, do you think I I'm, rank amongst your friends as far as my ability to chat to your child? You, you're good. No, you are genuinely good. You're like very thoughtful. You what percent? What, like, what could I? Um, I think you're honestly in the top 10. Like, you, you actually try and talk to me. Yeah. Is that good enough? Not easy. No. Do you, Do you think, think sometimes they get a bit esoteric? <clears throat> um, I mean, the other day I was asking him if he thought I was, get if I was getting a bit too esoteric. And I thought, there's your answer. Yeah. yeah. That question's not for him a bit too abstract. And sometimes I ask kids like what they're planning on doing the day or what they want to do for the day. And I realize they're actually not that good at thinking forward or back. <laughs> you just got the thing that's in front of them. Yeah. Uh, although he's just got to a point now where he, does, he gets very excited about the future and then he'll try and tell you an anecdote. He does try and tell you anecdotes about the day. It's, okay. Well, I'm sorry for offending him, you and him. I mean, I'm sorry for He's been you. talking about the time his grandma fell off his tricycle for six months. <laughs> Gaga fell off bike. Yep. And he forgets and then he 
God, God, you fell off the bike. Yeah. <laughs> A good story. Good stories. Yeah. Um, do you want What's the next question? question? Yeah, I'd love another question. Um, have you picked up any new skills? In quarantine, I got obsessed. So I started getting, we, we, like, I was obsessed with gardening, right, at first. And then I realized that one of my problems is that my soil quality is poor. So then I started to try to increase the quality of my soil. And um, I bought some worms and I've been burying scraps in the ground and stuff to try and like get my soil good. Yeah. And I, I haven't planted any plants since I've got the worms. Sometimes I go out and I, and I, and I hose a patch of just dirt <laughs> because I'm worried that the worms are thirsty, but I've not put any plants in there. I did one garden at the beginning and everything else is just patches of dirt that I bury like scraps in. I bury some lobster shells the other day um, my freezer turned off and everything defrosted and I have to throw it out and I'm like like excited to dig out a patch <laughs> of garden and put all the stuff from the freezer in and then put it down and the worms will go in and then I'll water them. They don't need to be watered. And then um, in like a couple of weeks, I'll dig it back up and see that they ate it all. And it's like, I'm obsessed with it. It makes me it's so happy. This is a worm farm. So I've got an in-ground worm farm, right? So it's a free-range worm farm where you bury it in the ground. And that one you screw the lid up and put stuff in. But they can't take that much. And then I've got other worms that are just, like, in the garden. And what you can do is you just dig and put the stuff in and, it, like, compost underground just by itself, right? Um, and I just... Uh, I just am obsessed with it. Like, if I find, like, an old peach... It's such a thrill. <laughs> I, I find this peach and I go to eat it. I think, oh, delicious. I'm going to eat this peach. I pick it up. I turn it over. It's, it's no good anymore. And I'm happier that I can't eat it because it means I get to go out, dig a hole and, and give it to some worms. And they just eat the food. Like they just, I always imagine for some reason that it just dissolved or something. Do they? It's not just them. And when you drink it, when you put it directly into the ground, uh, you know, there's obviously like microscopic stuff and there's other little bugs in there and stuff, but it's all good, right? It's decomposing the food, it's all good. And the worms, yeah, they eat it and then they like poop it out and they pee and they turn it into like magic. And I just, I feel like I'm hosting again. You know, I love hosting <laughs> and I feel like I'm hosting. <laughs> and I go out there and there's some stuff that like, you know, cause if you have like an above ground worm farm, you can't put like meat or dairy in it cause it starts smelling. But when you bury it straight in the ground, you can, it's fine. And I always just feel like they must be so happy to have me because all the other worms have to eat lettuce and paper towel. But my worms are getting like sour cream. They cannot believe their luck. Are they breeding? The worms? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the more food you put, the more they'll breed. And if there's less food, they'll slow their breeding down. So they're like, meet around yeah. their own. They look after themselves. You're just kind of feeding this huge orgy in your backyard. This guy said, have you painted during quarantine? And I did. I painted one picture. <laughs> That's an amazing answer for that question. Who, who knew? Um, I, yeah, I've got, new, new, I've got no new skills. Parenting. Parenting. Counts. I thought I was doing cardio YouTube videos. It's fun. They always feel like mums, the ones I do. They're like, all those new mums, you know, this is going to help with picking up baby. Get down low. Feel it in the glutes. They're you all pick about up babies? Ass. They're all about asses. All these, Great. All asses these are a big deal. Do because these women want big asses, I guess. You got to get it. Mine's you, big. You got to how dare you, you gotta get it. go on a conversation with me and say that your ass is too big. How hey, we dare both, you? This is not a problem just for you, okay? You need to take a good hard look at my ass too before you start saying that. Yours is smaller. In, it is, it, it stands out. It's perky. Yeah, it's perky. She's here, babe. What's the next question? 
What's the first thing you can't wait to do when this is over? Fuck someone. <laughs> what do they mean? And like, I'm just sitting here with my poor wasted heart and my poor wasted penis just withering, withering. Okay. And as you, you know, I'm 33 and you just sort of think like, God, oh, these, these last years of singledom and you know, I just think, oh, you know, well, that's the answer. Kissing, sweating on people on like a dance floor, just like getting on a dance floor and getting all like sweaty and just like, I don't know, walking around this shopping center and being able to see boys' mouths and this being able to see strangers' mouths. Yeah. What about you? Know, you? I didn't know if you'd been like kissing anyone and I didn't want to ask because I didn't want you to feel bad if you'd been breaking the rules. No, I've been celibate. Partly because, mostly because of the, like 85% because of the pandemic and 10% because I feel I've, I've put on a bit of weight. Yeah. Kill me, buddy. What do you want to do? Yeah, okay. Are you even bigger than after that time you went to France? You told me you put on 16 kilograms in five weeks. No, I put on seven kilograms in five weeks. Mm. Um, I weigh a lot, man. No, this person's pulling me up on the 85 plus 10. I know that's 95%. But I'm leaving 5% for like other reasons. Sometimes there's other reasons. For example, I haven't seen anyone good, you know? So that person says my math's wrong, but actually my math was perfect. And I won't fight with them further about this. Our numbers went up when you were talking about sex compared to when you were talking about worms. Penises. Really? <laughs> yeah, I just was watching it. I got nervous during the worm conversation. It really dipped. But now we're... Oh, sometimes I've got no idea what people want. I definitely would have thought people would be more interested in hearing me talk about worms than thinking about me having sex in any way. What's the next question? Someone just asked me if I have a ring light. Yes. You can see it in your glasses. You can see my ring light as well, though. There. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, it's, it's not mine, but it's nice, right? Yeah, I don't want to look at you because we sit on video chat for eight hours a day at the moment in the writer's room. I, I hate it when I get on video chat and someone is backlit and I can't see their face. It's like, it's like, it's like dumb. And I see it and I think, you're not good at your job. <laughs> so all our writers, we have nice light and um, that's it. Yeah. Beautiful writing room. Um. We, what's something you did pre-corona that was nice? I think you just answered that one with the boys' mouths. Kissing. Um, Tom's in New Zealand and I'm in LA. People are asking about it. And he's oh, yeah. like on a cute farm and I'm at my house. Which you, you're turning into a cute farm. Just for, just for um, my worms though, nothing else. I'm gonna grow some tomatoes. Um, okay, no, no, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over to Twitter at this point to see if there was any Oh, questions. you got some Twitter questions. While you're doing that, I'll answer questions down below. Best shows I've been during quarantine. The only show I like watching is The Repair Shop, which is a shop where, which is a TV show where British people bring in, not, not things that are expensive, but things that are old and precious to them, and this store fixes them. And then, like, near the end of the episode, maybe they'll be like, a lady and she'll come in and they would have fixed her clock and they'll make it chime and she'll start crying and she'll be like, I haven't he heard that song chat that, that clock chime for 40 years since my dad died. And it's like so beautiful. And there's a hot boy called Will and he's really hot and he fixes the wood. And then sometimes he gets like a bit vulnerable about whether or not he did a good job of the wood and he gets like a little nervous. It's like this big hot man and he gets a little nervous when he passes the wood back that he fixed. And I really like it. Do you have a question? Um, if, okay, here's one. Mm -hmm. If this is from Julia, she says, if you would start 
if you were going to start a cult, what would the rules be? Would you be a freak? Would you be a weirdo? What would you be? I Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that Wild Wild Country guy seemed to have some cool stuff going on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> How fun! Until they, I don't want to spoil the end of that doc. I want to spoil the they end. They look good, like the the block colors. Mm -hmm. They looked good. He like cool cars. They were all about like love, and but then they did all that weird stuff. But I wouldn't do that stuff. But the other stuff, I'd try. I wouldn't. I know. I just really like. I just really like variety, and I really like people having their own thing going on. So like, I just know that if I saw that a cult, I'd put all this effort in and I'd come up with a really good outfit for everyone to wear. And there'd be all these good like meal practices and all these good sex games and <laughs> all this like good stuff going on. There wouldn't be any bongo drums. that would be like nice instruments, like just Beyonce CDs. And then yeah. it'd be like it, it, beautiful. Yeah. And then after three days, I'd be like so mad because it'd bore me. Yeah. That's I'm not going to start a cult, happen. actually. The more I think about it, the more I think it's not for me. But that's how it goes crazy, right? You get bored with the power. Suddenly it's like... Oh, Guns? Let's do some weirder sex stuff. Yeah. You know, get some more members from weird places. And it gets out of control. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it and you're not going to do it. Okay. And I actually think that's the right choice. Well, I get to choose whether I do it or not. Okay. I might. Um, <laughs> it'd be good to have some more childcare. Um, <laughs> Is that when your cult's going to be just a childcare centre? Yeah. Free childcare. Who came up with the idea of singing at the end of a Zelda Rooster episode? I mean, that was where the idea started. It was like, wouldn't it be fun to kill a something called Adele and then sing an Adele song. And then from there, we had to figure out the rest, the rest of the story. And then before you know it, season one, we opened on me and you buying baby chickens and all this stuff, only because we just wanted to sing an Adele song to someone called Adele. Yeah. That's how the magic happens. Well, also I did have three chickens so, the and they were running around out when we were writing and it was like, oh, yeah. should we put the chickens in? And it's like, well, I can see them. So I guess they'll go in. And they, they, they might've got eaten too, hey. The, oh, it doesn't matter what happened to the chickens. Bilby, I need you to stop biting me because I'm not allowed to get mad at you because people are watching. Well, you know, we have seven minutes now. So, you know, we've got to be entertaining. Um, what, what? We are being entertaining. I know, I'm just, you know, high stakes. Keep the pressure on. <laughs> yeah. What did Josh want for his birthday that he didn't get? I got a lot more than I wanted. I didn't really want much. Um, and I bought myself what I wanted, which I don't usually do. But I was worried that I got a week before my birthday. My birthday was this week. And uh, a week before, because I hadn't seen anyone for a while. I don't know. I just got a bit crazy. And I thought maybe I didn't know anyone. Bill, be please stop it. Ah, 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 ow, ow. You meant to seem like a sad puppy. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I thought, I don't know. I thought, because I hadn't seen her for a while. I just got crazy. I thought maybe I didn't know anyone. Or I didn't have any friends or something. Only, and then I bought myself a, an espresso machine and some expensive wine. And then I like, so I got that. And then, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. How? Oh. I mean, <laughs> Stephanie signed me up to a uh, Stephanie signed me up to a carnival club where they send meat once a month. And you signed me up to a club where they send um, uh, no William Sonoma has not come treats. through yet. Thank you for asking. I'm at a club where they see treats of the world every month, and every month's the treats of a different country of the world. Which like that's just a real dream. I don't know what more a boy can ask for. I got really beautiful flowers. Uh, some balloons, some free fall, that was really nice. I, I would have liked, uh, I guess I would have preferred if the coronavirus went away. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just, you know, I watched all these people complaining about having nothing to do but watch TV. 
if I, I like my child, okay? Yeah. Great. Right. But if someone says, in two years' time, mm -hmm. something is going to happen in the world mm -hmm. <laughs> where you get to stay home and watch TV mm -hmm. for two months. Mm -hmm. I would have waited to have a child. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell him that? I, he, he doesn't care. He just wants You'll to come up with a second anecdote. Yeah. This dog is killing me. It's killing me. It's hurting me so much. I'm trying to seem cool about it, but it's hurting me so much. <laughs> She's really taking advantage of me not being able to yelp at a puppy every time. Oh. Can you remember the first time you performed in front of a crowd? And if so, was it a positive experience? Well, me and you did our first stand up thing together when Probably. we were 14, Thomas Ward. We did our yeah. first live stands up gigs together and we went in colorful suits and we did a double act it was, it was more mm -hmm. or less copied from reno and woodley but our own jokes mm -hmm. same dynamic and um yeah. but it's a classic dynamic it is they didn't invent it let's a be honest classic power dynamic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we spray painted the suits on, the, on my front lawn with paint mm -hmm. And then we got in my mother's car with the beige leather seats, and it's 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 coloured the 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 leather in my mother's car. Doesn't that make it sound like I had such a posh upbringing? I didn't. I thought you guys were so posh with that car. Just that. God, I hated that car. A person said, "Please, Tom, cut your long hair." That's so unkind. We're in the middle of a pandemic. He, he literally can't cut his hair. Also, I think it looks good, Tom. Did he say it's cool? He's cut it. Yeah. It's he looks so... like a cool dad. I, yeah, I'm a cool dad. Yeah. Um, well, we've got three minutes now. Mm -hmm. I guess it's time to do an emotional wrap up. You know, after all these years, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who knew we could find half an hour's worth of conversation? Well, still not us. Maybe this next one? time. Maybe next time. I was making fun of it. I was saying that I was trying to protect. I was saying that we didn't okay. really find the conversation. I was saying that we're that we're, we're boring. Oh, I was yeah. just trying to make a self-deprecating joke, and it didn't work. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm you know I'm trying to be really sincere. So I just think, here's, um, here's, to, here's to, to 22 more, huh? 22 more years. Oh, God. How old? 55. My parents got divorced after 17. So. Yeah. My parents, I think, were 20. Yeah, maybe we've known each other longer than our parents' marriage. Um, can, what do you think um, you'll be like when you're 55? What do you think I would be uh, like when I'm 55, if that's easier? Leslie Jordan? A bit younger, I guess. It's, it's, I'm happy younger, to see right? he's doing so well, because I thought, like, okay, well, I I'm guess I'll saw, be employed. I saw, for a while. I saw Leslie Jordan, and I was like, oh, Josh will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. I was like, yeah, actually... Uh, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. You just gotta like, yeah. We all gonna be. Oh, he's gonna. You're gonna have all these anecdotes. I'm gonna be watching my child go to university, and he'll probably be like a goth or something. I'll be like this fucking kid. Like whatever the the goth version is in twenty years. Yeah. Yeah, I always get worried about um. Oh, it doesn't matter, actually, as unkind what I was going to say. Not about you, just to put out in the world. You know skinny older men, and they get, like, fat, but they're still skinny, and it's, like, just, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they look like the alien oh. in, like, studio, in, like, in, like, Area 54. Oh, yeah, yeah, they've got their little... I mean, I know that fight is has already begun for me. Sometimes like, I think about when I look over... That's why I'm doing the cardio, the, the mum cardio things, like... 
I'm going to do something. I'm going to get all roly poly, you know? I'm going to be like just a, just a literal ball. My dad's 55, and, and I was talking to him on FaceTime the other day, and I was looking at his face, and, and my face looked so much more and more like him. And I started laughing at him. When I laughed, I'm like, this goes on my teeth. <laughs> 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 like, you know it, right? Yeah, yeah. And I started yeah, doing yeah. it, and because we spent all day on video chat, I've noticed it. The other thing that really creeped me out is my dad, he, he always kissed my mom in this like specific way that just used to make me shudder, right? He used to kiss his, in this way with, and with his lips. He had the same top lip as me, and it would do this thing, right? And I just always thought, oh, that doesn't seem right. And I was editing Everything's Gonna Be Okay, and I was kissing Alex, and I saw me do the exact same kiss. And I've, 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 I've just... It was rough. That's all I'm saying. I just, yeah. My dad's not 55. I don't know why he said that. He's 60. It's the same with me. And now that I have, like, my dad, it's just the same face, and... Now that I have a kid, it's just like doing, I'm just doing the same things. It's like it just really brings it out of you. I feel like last time I saw your dad, he was in the same jumper. Yeah. I keep wearing clothes my mother wore when I was a child. Yeah. I'll put an outfit on and I'll think, I'm pretty sure this is an outfit my mother used to own. It's because the 90s is a thing again. Like the look is back. Mm -hmm. Cruel. We gotta go. That's the end. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Have a nice time, everybody. Have have fun. Bye bye. <laughs>